I look for reasons to disqualify people mm-hmm. off the bat. I'm like, what's the red flags right off the bat? Yep. Same. Same. If I go to your Instagram and I see nothing but your ass, I see nothing but your body, I see nothing but like you in the club. I know that you're going to keep on doing that when we're in a relationship and those are high risk activities. Yeah. You can definitely be in the club. You can definitely be, you know, fit everything, but it probably doesn't need to be broadcasted on social media Yeah. to an extent, to an extent. Like, you know, if you're having like a gym progress thing where it's like, here's booty gains six months ago, booty gains now, totally different conversation. I don't post that on my Instagram. Point proven. Is there a so. reason why? Because I'm not interested in putting my ass out on the internet. Oh, I, I am a high quality female. If you want to see my butt, you're going to have to do the work to get to so see it. That's what I'm it's saying. A, like, it it depends on how it's shown. How, yeah. So I feel like, the way I see the it intention is, of it being shown, the way I see it is if, if the entire world can see your ass, why do I have to put so much ungodly effort in supporting you, courting you, doing all this? Like say if you have an OnlyFans and yeah. everybody Ooh. can see your body for nine ninety nine a month. In my eyes, I'm spending thousands of dollars a month on you, trips, dinners, everything. Somebody else can get the exact same package for ten dollars. Right, right. It just and I'm not knocking their hustle or anything, but you know, short term gains lead to long term consequences. Long term losses, absolutely. Yes. So another reason, I mean, I I used to stream on Twitch. I streamed Xbox. I was making a decent amount of money on that for a while, and I consistently had people saying, Hey, drop your OnlyFans, hey, like dress up hey let's wear something slutty like as a female who plays video games the amount that you could grow your following if you dress kind of slutty or do the kind of slutty stuff or have an only fans your your potential goes up exponentially but i've always looked at it from a standpoint of i was raised by a pretty old-fashioned man those are kind of the fundamentals that i have and i've always had my eyes set on the big prize, which is I want a high value husband. So I'm not going to do anything that's going to potentially jeopardize that for me. Mm-hmm. And the higher the value the guy is, the less red flags he's going to tolerate. Absolutely. So so things like yeah. having an OnlyFans, things like having those thirst traps. I mean, I have like some bikini stuff on my Instagram, but it's nothing that is overtly sexual it's all just between the thirst trap and just a regular bikini photo like if it's you and three other friends or like i mean everything i'm putting on my social media is me and my friends nothing is a necessary like overt attention seeking thing from men like i'm not trying to get those men that are sliding into my dms i'm just trying to post that i'm having fun with my friends Mm -hmm. i think that's an extremely rare take because in this day and age social media is greatly fantasy correct me if i'm wrong if you think i'm wrong but i think it is greatly fantasized Oh, absolutely. The culture, the slutty uh, yeah. Instagram post, all of the above, only oh, fans, yeah. everything. Well, because oh, girls yeah. want that high follower count, and that's how you get it's it. You post those thirst traps. So, yeah, guys are going to like your page. They're going to follow you. They're going to heart all of your pictures. That doesn't necessarily t- equate to a high-quality partner. Mm-hmm. And in more cases than not, that is going to remove your possibility of finding a high-quality partner because men don't want to date the girl. They don't want to marry the girl that has her ass all over the Internet. And a lot of girls don't understand that, that just because a guy's sliding into your DMs, it doesn't mean he wants to marry you. Well, Attention it's, through physical sex and everything like that it's is all that, not It's long-term. the false affirmations, right? Yeah. So it's that whole old, a da- whatever, of the daddy issues of the girls that don't get that validation from their, men, from their dads. So they think that these men liking, harding, commenting, fire emojis and stuff on their pictures, that's validation to them. Right. They hold their value in a man's uh, feedback. I don't have that. I know that I bring a lot more to the table than my body. And as I grow older, that's going to become even less prominent. So I know that what I bring to the table has to be so much more significant than that. And you can see that from those intentions from a mile away, too. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. And you're just like, no, I'm not, not going to waste my time. And for high-quality men, that's something you guys should be on the lookout for because the girls that are looking for the quick come up, the ones that are doing the OnlyFans, and I'm not hating on it, but the girls that are looking for the quick come up are not the ones that are going to be substantial, significant, high-value partners for you. Yeah. 